this World Cup then, so you, you're going to watch it all here, you're not going out for any of the matches. Um, do you well, I'm, I'm doing that thing that I did in 2002, which is I'm sort of provisionally planning to go out if, at a certain stage. Right. So if we get past the quarterfinals... Oh, glory hunter. Glory hunter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make your way out there. Yeah, it's often said about Blackburn fans. Glory hunters. <laughs> have you seen that? Have you seen the? Um, have you seen seen the nights they're on? You're not doing any gigs or anything. It's all you've, plotted. It's all you've got it all sorted. Everything's okay. in the diary. And what do you think? Of the, and what do you think of the team? I don't know. I genuinely believed. Well, every World Cup we go. Oh, this could be the one. This could be yeah. the one. But the last World Cup, I think there was a genuine belief. No, no, this really could be. This is. A, we've definitely gone up. A, if there's a graph. We've gone up more this time than any other time at the last World Cup. And it sort of came to nothing. Right. So now, even though I think you know, we've definitely still at that level. They were calling them the golden generation. Is that what they call That's what they That's were last, last time. time. And now this time they're the golden generation a little bit older. But then looking at Chelsea this season, who are supposed to be all the old yeah. men, the experience came to you know to the fore at the end of but, the season. And also, right? we you know, I know it's easy to use this excuse, but maybe they were the golden generation who got slightly unlucky. They did reach the quarterfinals. We did go out on penalties. Rooney did get sent off. Well, what, about, what, what about the importance of the gaffer, though? You know, I, I keep talking about this to people, but um, having Capello there now, doesn't that change things? Well, I think, yeah. I mean, obviously, the record getting there is better than we've ever had, isn't it? So uh, I wish we'd have beat the Ukraine and got 10 out of 10, but it doesn't feel, you know, there's that slight fear of you, Ukraine with the best team in the league, apart from us, and we couldn't beat them. But do you think we beat them at home, but, but do you think he's changed things though enough since the last World Cup? Yeah. Um, I don't think that the change. I still am a great believer that if we hadn't have gotten lucky in the last World Cup, we could have. Did, we got to the quarterfinals, and it was a hair's breadth between. At one point in that penalty shootout, we were up. Do you remember that? We were winning the penalty mm. shootout. We'd never been in that position before. <laughs> we were winning a penalty shootout. We still messed it up, but we could have easily been in the semi-finals. And then who knows what would have happened. So I do think that luck played a bit of a part in the last World Cup. I've always been a Sven fan as well. I thought Sven was a great manager. Capello's obviously better. He's doing better for England. But he was still a great manager, Sven. And but Sven shot himself in the foot, though, didn't he? By just going out with every woman he could. Yeah, but be honest, you know. Be honest. If you're the England manager and you look like Sven, tell me you're not going to abuse that. <laughs> Have you ever got to do any gigs with any of the football clubs or anything at all? Oh, I've done lots of football gigs, yeah. But for the clubs? Not for the specifically clubs. for the clubs, but I've done some gigs where ex-footballers have turned up and they're always horrific. <laughs> because ex-football, the one thing that all ex-footballers have in common is from about the age of 35 onwards, their mission is to drink as much as possible because they weren't allowed to drink up until the age of 35. <laughs> well, of course, the old school ones were. Yeah. But now they're really allowed to drink. Yeah. So they get really drunk yeah. and they're tough gigs. Uh, if England don't win, do you have a second team that you look out for? Uh, well, traditionally, Scotland or Ireland, so that's gone out the window this year. But, um, well, I, I, I don't know about you, but I just, no, I can't, unless Scotland or Ireland are it, I just do that thing where I just can't watch, watch the next few games. I just, really? Because what happens is traditionally, England get knocked out in the quarter-final of a major tournament, I can't watch the semis. I'm not interested in the semis. I might have a look on teletext or just glance at the telly, but my heart's not in it. Then I'm all right again for the final and I get into the final. So I, I, I haven't been interested in semi-finals since 1990. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I've watched them. I've always watched yeah. them. I'm exaggerating a bit, but I've never felt any passion for it. It's very hard to follow another club when you've been knocked out in the last eight. It is, yeah. You can't go, never mind. Come on, Argentina. <laughs>